need not be in any way that you imagine life is, because your imaginations are all rooted in your experience of life here. You have no memory of anything else, so there is no way you can imagine something else. But from what we have known, what we have experienced, what little we have been ex able to explore, we have seen life around Kalash, Manacharovar area that we encountered and uh, we at one time, we conducted experiments with that and certain people also experienced some powerful processes. Well, from that experience, we have arrived at this great knowledge that we don't know a damn thing. Yes. I have been thinking of uh, going and exploring this, but somewhere I know if I go, I may not come back. So I think it's not a time for that. Already I've lost many things to you. I think today morning I just wrote a poem. I was sending a book to somebody, the eternal echoes. So I had to write this. It's called Heartless. Poems are bits of one's heart. Poems are bits of one's heart. Having showered all my bits upon you and everyone, here I am, heartless but whole. Having showered all my bits upon you and everyone, here I am, heartless but whole. So, uh, I already lost my heart, I don't want to lose my brains. But I feel if I go there exploring these things, I may not only lose my brains, I will lose my body also. That is what I have clearly sensed. They have no intention of yielding, but they are willing to take you in. So, not it ready to go. So do not ever think that, do not put Adi Yogi in the category of messengers or translators who came from elsewhere. He is a force by himself. He cannot be sent by anybody and he has no message. That's a message, Shiva, nothing. And that is the basis. When you transcend your somethingness and touch what right now feels like nothing, not really, really nothing, but what right now feels and looks like nothing, that is the foundation of mysticism. So those of you 